with EBR Horsemanship LLC. And I wanted to go through some stuff with uh, you guys today as to what I feed Goose, how much I feed, why I feed it, and all the supplements that she gets on a daily basis. Um, so I'm going to start off with her, her like regular feed regimen. Um, so she gets about 10 pounds of hay in a feeding. Um, she is the type of horse that, you know, the more you feed her, uh, the more bad energy that she has. Um, so I typically keep her rationed up pretty good so she doesn't have, you know, a ton of bad energy and she doesn't get fat because um, she's had some, uh, I want to say obesity issues, but I think that she's definitely had some um, issues with being a little overweight, um, especially in her more mature uh, body. And it's important that I keep her on the leaner side right now because she's growing and, uh, you know, I want to make sure that her her joints stay as good as they can, even with all the problems that we do have. Um, so she gets uh, a pound of alfalfa pellets uh, each feeding. So she gets two pounds of alfalfa pellets a day. And then um, she also gets uh, one pound of Tribute Essential K, which is a ration balancer. Think about it like a PDA shirt, kind of fills the gaps. Um, and it's really protein dense and it has an extremely low feeding rate. Um, so I don't have to feed, you know, four pounds of it every day to get what's on the back of the bag. You know, I can feed the two pounds, split it between two feedings and she's good to go. But it still has all the pre and probiotics. It still has all the vitamins and minerals it says on the back of the bag. And it still has... Um, I think it's like 28 or 29, maybe 30% protein. It's quite high in protein, and that's something I think that she needs. Um, I think it's better fuel than just strictly fiber calories uh, because there's a, there's a bunch of different types of, of um, energy sources for horses, and the, the biggest number one should be long fiber forage, so it should be hay or grass. Um, that should be the first thing that you should be feeding your horse, and if your horse needs weight, that should be the first thing you're feeding a lot more of. Um, the second thing I usually try to do is, is fats and proteins. Um, for a working horse, fats and proteins are really important. Um, the protein aspect helps build muscles, and then the fat helps keep a, a decent layer of fat over the muscles and the bones to maintain a good body condition score level. Um, so that's pretty much she, what she gets for uh, basic feed on a, on a daily basis. Like I said, it's about 10 pounds of hay in the morning. Um, and about 10 pounds of hay at night, sometimes I'm a little nice to her and I will give her extra, especially if I know I'm going to be a little late feeding in the next morning or, the, you know, the next feeding in general. So um, I tend to give her more hay than anything else, um, especially now because she is uh, not getting any complete feeds whatsoever, just the uh, ration balancer, the essential K. And then she does receive um, some supplements in her... Uh, feed every day, and I think it's um, something that I want to um, talk about um, and why I do what I do. Um, so I buy all my supplements in bulk, period. It's so much cheaper, and I bag it up. It's ready to go. Even if somebody else feeds for me, I can just tell them one plastic baggie in the morning, you know, nothing at night, just her feed. You know, it's really easy. They don't have to measure anything out. Um... You know, and, and then I can control what she gets and how often she gets it. And, and you know, I just, I feel like I have better control that way. Um, and, you know, people bring up the argument of like smart packs and stuff like that. And I think it's important to um, not forget to be involved in your horse's diet. Um, I also think that smart packs are really, really wasteful. Um, <clears throat> they're really hard to recycle. And I think that the less plastic that we can put in a landfill, the better. And um, so even for my own plastic baggies, I reuse them like several times. <laughs> I will only throw them out if they're particularly like maybe, um, you know, they're wet, like they're full of moisture or they um, have a hole in them or something like that. So that's the only reason I would ever throw one away. I can hear my uh, dog in the background. He's uh, whining. <laughs> um, but anyway, so sorry about that. But um, I just kind of wanted to show you what's in here. It's kind of, it might be a little hard to see for you guys. Um, but the pellets that are right here is something called Show Glow. 
And then the white sugar looking stuff on the bottom, that's MSM. The stuff that looks like dirt, this brown stuff here, that is Ukele's Devil's Claw Plus. And then the stuff that looks like green tea on the top here, that is Mere Magic. And um, I'm going to kind of explain to you how I bag up my supplements, why, why she's on each one. And then, um, you know, we'll go from there. So I start, um, usually what I get um, is like an off-brand like snack baggie. Uh, make sure to get the square ones because the other, the regular snack baggies are, they're kind of long and skinny. I find those really irritating. Um, so I get the square ones are a little easier to handle. Um, and uh, so this is kind of how I do it. Um, so the Show Glow, the reason I feed Show Glow is because it is a great, complete vitamin and mineral supplement. And um, it has something really important in it that I think is really important to mention. Um, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, but about halfway through, let's see if I can find it here. Right there, right above my finger there. See that? That's iodine. Iodine is very hard to find in um, complete vitamin and mineral supplements. Um, it's even really extremely difficult to find in uh, huff supplements. Um, and iodine is absolutely necessary on a cellular level. Most horses need the iodine, okay? Um, you know, it might be a good idea to get your hay tested, see how much is in your grain, if there's any, that kind of thing to see exactly where, you know, he's or her, she, you know, her diet is at. Um, but we don't have a particularly a lot of iodine in the soil uh, around where we live and, you know, we locally source our hay. Um, so I just... She, she just needs it. <laughs> it's better. Um, so, and the thing I like about Show Glow is it's really cost effective. This usually costs between $15 and $20, depending on where you get it. Um, I usually spend a little closer to $15 or $16. It is a pelleted supplement, just like that. And um, this is the scoop. That's it. They get, uh, for the first seven days you put them on it, they get two scoops in the morning. Or you can do one scoop in the morning, one scoop at night. Doesn't it, it doesn't matter. You know, like you can do it however. But um, after that initial seven days, they get your one scoop, and that's it. It's really cost effective. This particular container will last me a little over a month if I'm careful, and we're not over scooping. Um, so the next one I talked about there was the MSM. And I buy Animeds MSM. Um, this is a 160 day supply after the loading dose. Um, it's super cheap. This costs about $25. It's a five pound container. And I will never not have my horses on MSM period. Um, it's a great general uh, whole body like anti-inflammatory. Um, you know, when, when I first got Goose and she was really little and she had all those skin issues and um, she just was really sick. She had a lot of issues with um, upper respiratory infections and um, just her airways were were just not great. Um, she would struggle. Uh, she'd be really snotty. She'd have snot coming out of her nose all the time. Um, she Her eyes would be really goopy and gross and you know no matter how much I cleaned and flushed and, and did everything it wasn't making a difference. Um, so once we got the upper respiratory infection, like the infection itself cleared, um, I did two seven day rounds of penicillin. It was wild. We did a lot of penicillin. Um, to this day, she still hates needles, um, which I don't blame her for. Um, but once I got the infection cleared, I decided to put her on MSM and it was the best decision that I've ever made for her. Um, I have never had an issue with a boogery nose. Um, I've never had an issue with, you know, goobery eyes. Her airways are nice and clear. Everything is great. She'll always be on it, period. I'm just, I'm not willing to, to, to waver on this one for sure. And um, the reason I chose MSM is because it's really cheap. This is a five pound container. It will last, like I said, about four months after the loading dose. And the loading dose is really um, easy. Um, it looks like sugar or salt maybe. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a white powder. I'm trying to get it there against my jacket so you guys can see it. Um, but, um, all she needs is one of these bigger red scoops cause she's not little anymore. That's it. That's all she needs right there. As you see, it's full and into the bag it goes. 
And then because this supplement is so easy to spill, um, this is one that I typically am very careful with the lid about. Um, it's really cheap. I think this cost me about $26. Um, so $26 across four months is really, really cost effective. Um, and yeah, I can't say any more good about it. They're, it's just, it's a great thing to put them on. Um, so the next one that was in there was the dirt looking supplement, which is Ukele's Devil's Claw Plus. Um, and there's a lot more than just Devil's Claw in here. So there's Boswellia, Turmeric, and Yucca. And actually, the combination of Devil's Claw and Yucca together is what provides the most showing support for, like, an herbal supplement. Um, excuse me. Um, so it helps um, prevent or, like, just helps discomfort associated with normal exercise and activity. Um, so I kept her on this even while she was just on turnout um, because they do, you know, work themselves and turn out. You know, they walk around. Um but yeah, so you feed it about, um, you, you feed at a uh, rate of 30 grams daily, and the, the scoop that comes in it is a 15 gram scoop. So it's a two scoop uh, feed rate, which is fine. Um, but yeah, no, it's just a, re it's a really good one. And they are actually, um, they get the quality seal from the National Animal Supplement Council, which I think is really important. Ukele is rigorously tested and proven, period. They're just proven. Um, but yeah, so like I said, there's the devil's claw, there's the yucca, um, there's another, uh, herbal blend of cat's claw bark powder, turmeric root, white willow bark, and feverfew. Um, there's also vitamin C as ascorbic acid, which can be, um, somewhat of a preservative, which is okay. Um, ascorbic acid literally is vitamin C. It's great. It's not gonna hurt her. Um, the boswellia extract um, which is another plant and then there's some grape seed extract and then there's some called pan pantothenic acid which I'm probably pronouncing incorrectly um, but that's all right and then the inactive ingredients that give it the body that actually give it so it's not just a straight powder so it's a granular supplement it, it looks like dirt um, it's great pumice meal and a magnesium silicate and there is some stevia in here. So that stevia is a, uh, um, is a sweetener. I and mean, I'm pretty sure it's natural. Um, I'm not super concerned about it. You know, I grew up with both natural and artificial sweeteners. And I think everything in moderation and you're going to be just fine. Um, you know, of course, if you, uh, you know, with the whole like aspartame argument, which is an artificial sweetener, if you pump any animal full of either natural or artificial sweeteners, they're going to develop health problems, period. You know, I think that's one of those things. But everything in moderation, I think you're going to be just fine. Um, so like I said, this is a feed rate of two scoops a day. Um, and like I said, it looks like dirt. It almost looks like a super pulverized mulch. Um, it smells like dirt because it's made out of a lot of root extracts. Um, so like I said, it's just like that. Two scoops of that right on top, and be careful not to over scoop here. That's how you save your money there. I'm gonna try to save as much as I can. And then, because this is so full, I just opened this this morning because it's so full, I find it helpful to put your scoops and just push them in just like that. Leave it up on the top there so you can grab it, but it's all the way in there. All right, and then the next and final thing. Um, that I put in the bags um, is actually uh, Mare Magic. I dropped some uh, Devil's Claw Plus. So I'm just going to put in the bag there. Um, the Mare Magic is mostly raspberry leaves, and there are definitely more cost-effective ways of getting raspberry leaves. I think that um, you can buy them off Amazon in bulk for really, really cheap. Um, this particular bag cost me $45, and I think that's really, really steep. Um, I think you're more paying for the name than for the product, um, and I think that you can find more cost-effective options out there. Um, the reason I put her on Mirror Magic in the first place was because um, last spring she had her first heat cycle. She had just turned um, a year old, and it was in June or July is when she had her first heat cycle, right before then. Um, and it was like a switch for her. She went from being happy-go-lucky to... I want to kill everybody, <laughs> and and it wasn't a hormonal thing; it was a pain thing. 
she was hurting. She was hurting really, really bad. Um, she would shrink away, you know, if I were to try to groom her back, um, you know, where her ovaries are. Um, she would just be very, very sensitive and she just, she was quick to, to pin her ears and, and, and try to bite and, you know, just, she was generally just really uncomfortable and I felt that was unfair to her. You know, she can't avoid it. It's something that she's got to deal with. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try to make her as comfortable as I can. And the reason I chose Mare Magic is because it's really available to me. Um, but I made myself a deal <laughs> and because of her recent diet overhaul, you know, she's a lot cooler, a lot calmer. So I'm going to take her off of this and see how she does. Um, if I have some more endocrine, uh, you know, system issues, like I did this past spring, you know, for spring 2020, we're not quite there yet, but we're close. Um, if I do have the same problems or they, you know, escalate or I even have an inkling of a problem, I decided to put her on Ukaley's Mare Ease. It's specifically targeted for the Mare's endocrine system. Um, I think it's just a little better targeted towards the area of the body that I want to uh, facilitate the best function. So, um, like I said, this will be the last bag of this stuff, uh, but I've had her on it for about a year now and it does work. I think that I can get better results for something else, though. Um, and part of the reason why I actually wanted to switch and why I think I could get better results is um, I've had to feed two scoops, and I typically over-scoop. I feed her a lot of this stuff every day, and it's just, yes, it's working, but I, you know, I... After a month of two scoops, I dropped back to one, and she was right back where she started. One was just not enough. And um, so I think there's just way more cost-effective ways than uh, Mirror Magic, which is okay. Uh, you know, I'm willing to, to look at other options for sure. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do. And then what I usually do is I'll bag up. Um, it depends. Sometimes I'll bag up, like, 90 days of supplements. You know, if I have the money for it right then and there, I'll go out, get a bunch and, uh, you know, sit in front and watch whatever on TV and bag them all up. It's really fast. Um, like I said, it's a better way to control how my horse gets every day. You know, I don't have to depend on, um, you know, the mail carrier being on time, you know, to deliver supplements for me. I think that's really just, ugh, that scares me. You know, I think it's really important that everything is really steady. It's consistent. And that. It stays the same, which would be you know a redundancy, I guess. But I think it's just really important that it all stays the same. Um, and then you, sometimes what I'll do is I'll go out and actually buy a bag of treats. Um, these are the Ginger Ridge, uh, Ridge flaxseed treats. Um, they are. I find Ginger Ridge is really good. Um, there's really not a whole lot in, you know, in them. These ones do have corn in them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of corn, um, but I only give her one or two of these a day anyways. They're full of flax, and they are, um, I don't know, they're just a nice little treat. Um, I might put them, like I said, right in the bag or put them in her feet as I soak it. I do soak those alfalfa pellets for uh, a few hours. Uh, just because I like to break them up and try to introduce as much moisture into her gut as I can. You know, she's never had a collar problem, knock on wood. I know I want to keep it that way. Um, the only other supplement that I have contemplated putting her on, and I'm still looking into it, is um, Smart Packs. Um, either, I think it's Smart Gut, or whichever one is um, eligible for their colic care program, Um their colic care program, as long as you keep them on that supplement and you can prove that they're on that supplement and your horse colics, uh, they will help you pay for colic surgery. It's like an insurance policy. Um, and I, I have been considering it. We had a couple horses colic within the last few years. It's just made me think about the worst case scenario here. And I, you know, I want her to be happy and healthy. And I think that's a, a great thing for me to try to do for her. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, definitely just let me know. Um, you can either uh, private message my Facebook page, which is EBR Horsemanship LLC, um, which is also my handle on Instagram. So you can go and uh, find me on Instagram. Um, you can also uh, leave a comment below. And I will also put in the video descriptions links to everything that I use. Um, uh, 
to where at least you can buy them. Um, if you are interested in tribute feeds, definitely give me a holler. I can answer most questions about tribute feeds. Um, I've been feeding tribute for years, and I think it's a high quality feed line. Um, and I think there's something for every horse uh, in the tribute feed line. Um, and if I can't answer it, then I will actually <laughs> ask tribute the question for you. Because if I can't answer it, then I'm going to want to know too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you uh, want to leave uh, you know, any comment below, definitely do so. Um, please uh, like this video and um, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thanks, guys.